Hi, welcome, Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement on an Asus gaming laptop. This is the Republic of Gamers laptop. If you turn it around, take a closer look at the back of your computer. You can see the model is GA401Q. And let me show you the screen. What happened is that there was an impact point on the bottom left corner. And because of that, then the screen had this funny color, this pixelated color, as you can see. Um, you can hardly see any screen, any display on the screen, but the impact was from the bottom left and it started to shatter the rest of the screen. So in this video, I'll walk you through from start to finish how to do a screen replacement on your Asus laptop here. So let's go ahead and shut down the computer. Alright, while the computer is shutting down and the next step is to go ahead and get yourself a metal prying tool. What I'm trying to do is I try to pry open the bezel. The bezel is adhesive and somewhat clip on so it's easy to um, remove by using a prying tool. If you have a plastic one that's fine with it since the screen is broken so I do not really care if I scratch the screen because we'll be replacing with the new one. Okay so on the, the top and the side those are just pop up and here at the bottom it's going to be slightly harder to do so because it is adhesive onto the screen so you may have to cut it a little bit to separate that adhesive tape all right I have just separated that and as you can see that the adhesive tape are still sticky here at the bottom you can reuse it if you want or you can buy a separate um, I'll show it to you is a, it's a two millimeter two millimeter double-sided adhesive tape you can use the two or the three so it looks something like this this is a two millimeter meaning the thickness of the uh, the thickness of the double-sided tape and this tape here is just like that okay and you can just tip it down you can use two three or five millimeter whichever you want but first I would like to advise you to clean out that little uh, glue first before you tape this one on so that you can retape the bezel afterwards all right let's put the bezel on the side now the next step is to work on the LCD screen so take a look at the LCD here at the bottom right corner you see this little black gooey tape all right so this black gooey tape is a tape that you need to pull off so what happened is that let me get a good grip of this what happened is the lcd is taped down by this double-sided adhesive tape so you need to remove and keep pulling. It's just like cheese. You can really pull for a very long, very, very long tape. Okay. So once you pull that out, leave it on the side. We can't reuse that. Just so you know, we cannot reuse that. We have to uh, completely retape the screen afterwards. Now I'm working on the bottom left. This is the bottom left screen. So I like to get a tweezer, get underneath there, tuck it in and give it a good couple of twists so that means I get a good grip of that and start pulling okay keep pulling and keep pulling right about here what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the LCD screen using my uh, elbow because I do not want to pull and the LCD follows follows with the uh, the tape and start shooting it to me or break the cables right so anyway um, once that is done once you remove the both sides of that 
sticky glue you can lift that LCD screen leaning down towards your body so lean back towards yourself and be very careful with this LCD cable because we need that cable to be in a perfect condition for the next installation all right so what I'm doing right now is getting the double-sided tape there is a tape not double-sided tape sorry there's a tape to secure fasten the uh, the connector so I need that to be removed and slide the cable slide the cable away from my body so push it to that side all right so save that cable for later and this is the LCD screen all right so the question is where can I buy it you're not sure where to buy them I'll tell you where to buy them so go ahead and check um, the link down in the description below I'll list them down where you can buy it from either Amazon or eBay and you can definitely look it up here it says N140 HCE EN2 REV C2 maybe a rev revision of version C2 not sure what that is but the company is made by Inalux okay that's the model number that we're gonna look for and for the screen now you do need to have um, a different tape let me find you another tape here so this is the thing that what you need to have is maybe get a larger one um, this one here is a five millimeter meaning that we need to retape the LCD screen so um, I do not have the new screen and I just wanted to um, show you the process from start to finish how to do it so assuming that the new screen just came in today this is my new screen and I'm ready to install uh, first thing you want to do is you can either follow the line here so you can either do this by following the line so you want to cut yourself a double-sided tape uh, I would recommend you to aim it at the very bottom here if you take a look here you want to go off that limit of the white line because the next person who fix the screen we know where the double-sided tape is going to be all right so you're going to tape it down like that much cut it okay and then do the same on that side so that way uh, you know that the tape is going to go onto the both sides of the LCD screen all right once you have that tape installed I'm not going to do mine because this is the broken screen so once you have that tape installed the next step is to go ahead and insert the cable back to the LCD screen so what you want to do is slide it into its body towards yourself so align it properly and take your time to slide it in once it's all the way in you want to give this little tape a little pull snuggle tuck it in and gently tape the screen back so assuming that I have the uh, double-sided tape or already installed so you just align and tape it down by pressing it gently down okay once you have done the process the very next step is okay so um, the next one is to get yourself um, the bezel to reinstall and you can get the tiny one the two millimeter uh, the, the original I mean the the first one I was using is the five millimeter this is the two millimeter you can retape it but I'll clean up all this gung before I tape it in and all you have to do is just to realign them back like such and then just press it down um, the bezel reclip it and reinstall so that would be the process for um, to change out the screen and I just hope that this video is helpful to you uh, before you go please smash the like button for me um, and subscribe if you haven't and feel free to subscribe it's free so make sure you subscribe smash the like button for me please and comment below if you have any questions regarding about this laptop thanks for watching until next time take care bye now